bone here. How you all are doing today? Right, today's little lesson on the old wee string cigar guitar. As you are getting near Christmas, only a couple of weeks away Christmas, so I thought, why not do a Christmas one? Um, this is a great one, done by Slade way back in the 70s when it was all the glam rock era. Um, and this is called Merry Christmas Everybody. It's a cracking song. Everyone knows this one. Everyone sings along to it. Um, you need your guitar tuned to open G, which is G, D, G. Uh, don't forget, please subscribe. Press the subscribe button down there, guys. Um, lots more stuff coming up. And if you've got any requests, obviously request away. Um, right, um, I'm going through my trusty Vox Mini 5 here. And all I've got is I'm going through the clean channel. Bit of reverb. That's all. Um, right, the chords you need on in this one, there's a few chords. Um, but you can sort of play it with one finger. Um, so the chords you need are G, B, D, A, C, and there's also a B flat as well. So quite simple really. I mean, they're all one fingery type chords. Um, so, you know. Now how the structure of this works is um, you've got a verse, chorus, verse, chorus, middle eight, which I'll show the middle eight. It's just two chords in the middle eight. Uh, and then it goes back to obviously... Um, another chorus and then uh, a, sorry a verse and then back to a chorus so it's quite a simple song um, the chord sequences in the chorus are slightly different than in the verse but anyhow I'll go for it once and then we can break it down this and with this hand you sort of do a bit of strumming up and down a bit of mute a bit of palm mute as well you can feel the song by your hand up your star So it's quite a simple one, quite a simple one. I sort of mucked up a little bit in there. Um, but what we'll do is we'll, we'll go through it um, and then you'll sort of get the gist of how it goes. Um, it starts in the G, so the G is just open, all strings open. And then it goes to the B, which is all strings, fourth fret. And to the D, now you can either play the D down on seventh fret, or you can play the D up here in the lower register, which is second top, second bottom, third middle, open rubber. The C of course you know is all strings fifth fret. The A is all things second fret. And the B flat of course is all strings third fret. So it's quite simple really. And you see you can do it with one finger. So we're starting the G, open. What I do is I do one finger and chords. It says G, are you hanging up to the B, starkings on to the D, to the G, is it time that every B, to the D, to the C, to the C, then to the G, from the T, then to the G, then you go to the A, from the A, to the C. On the D. So here it G, G, B, B flat to the D, da, 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 B, to the B flat to the D. Think back to the flex first, which is G, uh, before the B, to the D, to the G, to the B, to the D. C up to the G, 
comes on the stage on the D. So it's D, 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 B flat, B flat, D, 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 B flat to the C, to the D, to the D. Then you're back into the verse. To the G, to the D, to the D. From the G, to the B, to the D. To the C. When it's on the very last verse, it keeps repeating the chorus for about four or five times. So see, it's quite simple. And as you saw there, I was doing some of the chords. Really, the only chord um, that um, you would do with, with either a chord to it, it would be the D up here or the D down here. So really, the whole song can be played on one finger. So it's quite simple, really, isn't it? Um, what I do is I come to a close-up so you can see what I'm doing there. Right, so here we are at a close-up. Um, so, yeah, so the chords you need, obviously, all strings open. That's your G. The B is 4th fret, all strings. To the D. Now, the D you can either play up here, which is 2nd top, 2nd bottom, middle open, or play down here on the 7th. The C is all strings on the 5th. The A is all strings on the second. And the B flat, of course, is all strings on the fourth. So we'll just run through a verse and a chorus so you can see how it's going. So you start in the G. And let's say, don't forget this hand. See, I'm sort of doing a bit of, a bit of muting, a couple of upstrokes. And as I say before in some of my other videos, I sort of emphasise this top string, top E, uh, sorry, top G. So sort of emphasise that all the time, so you get that sort of thing. And then when I, if I'm doing the D, <clears throat> um, I'm sort of lifting my fingers off. So you could probably do it down here. And it just gives it a little bit of difference on it. Okay, <coughs> we'll go for a verse and a chorus. And it starts in the G. G. G, G to the B, to the D. From the G to the B, to the D. To the C, to the G. From the C to the G. From the A to the C to the D. This comes in the chorus. So who the G to the B, from the B flat to the D. From the G to the B, to the B flat to the D. Then you back to the number G, B. And you get going round and round and round and round and round and round and round. And the only difference is, is that mid late, um, when you come out of the course, um, you got you stay on the G. What would your daddy B flat do if you saw to the D? Kissing Santa Claus to the B flat to the C to the D. Then you're back in to the G to the B to the D. So it's quite simple, isn't it, really? It's a simple song. And as you see there, I was doing it really all with, with one finger. So um, for you guys that only can play one finger, cracking stuff, isn't it? Cracking stuff. Um, so quite simple, quite, quite simple. And as I say, this hand, is, it's just about the feel of a song. So I sort of emphasise that top one there quite a lot. So, um, OK, I'll sit back down. So there you go, Slade. Merry Christmas, everybody. Cracking little song, Christmas song. Gotta learn it, I'm just for 
just for the for the fun really um, okay um, don't forget please subscribe guys press the button down the bottom there lots more stuff coming up if you've got any requests obviously request away um, that's it for me today see you soon Mark LeBone ciao Thank mm -hmm. you.